Today my guest is pharmacist and wellness consultant, Dr. Mona Vand. So tell me, doctor, what is the recommended daily allowance for cupcakes? That's not a thing, so zero. Just making sure. <laughs> So Mona, mm -hmm. tell me about how sugar reacts inside our bodies. So sugar has a lot of reactions in our bodies, but none of them are good. So basically when you eat something with sugar, it goes into your bloodstream, it spikes up your insulin, it's stored as fat, it alters all your hormones, but at the same time it doesn't make you full, nourished, energized, any of that. So there's no carbs, no protein, no fat, nothing that's gonna make you sustained and feel good longer. You're just gonna keep feeling more hungry and eating more and it's just gonna keep causing all that negative stuff to happen. So it does absolutely nothing? Nothing good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so then what is the daily recommended amount of added sugars? Well, there's no recommended dietary allowance of sugar, but there is a limit to how much sugar you should have a day. The American Heart Association recommends a max of 25 grams for women and 38 grams for men. Why does that number seem so small? It's actually really small. I mean, if you go to like an average coffee shop and just order something like a vanilla cappuccino, you're getting anywhere from like 80 to 100 grams of sugar. So just that morning drink could be triple the amount you should have in the whole day. Whoa, that's yeah. intense. I know, it's really intense. So what exactly is erythritol? So erythritol is a sugar alcohol. You know, that sounds kind of weird. It's not like the drinking alcohol. It's just what it's called and what it's labeled as is a sugar alcohol. It's used as a sweetener in different foods, like as a sugar substitute. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't spike your blood sugar, doesn't raise it. There's no calories. It's just something that's used as a sweetener. So is it a carb like sugar? So even though sugar alcohols are technically carbs, they don't affect our body the same way normal carbohydrate would because our body doesn't absorb them. So it's almost like they're just passing through. They don't get metabolized, they don't get absorbed, so we don't have to worry about it affecting us the same way another carbohydrate would. Hmm. I see. So when you're craving something sweet, how do you treat yourself? Oh, I like to make my own little recipe at home. It's like my version of healthy hot chocolate. Healthy hot chocolate? I basically just take almond milk, cacao, organic stevia, and cinnamon. I put it on the stove and just heat it up. It's so good. It tastes like you're drinking a hot chocolate dessert and it literally has zero grams of sugar. Ah, oh, I want one now. I'll give you the recipe. <sighs> one last thing, doctor. I know there's such a thing as a healthy fat, but is there such a thing as a healthy sugar? Afraid not. Yeah, I didn't think so. Subscribe below, Doctor's Orders.